I'm here to review Iron Man 2 and I was looking forward to this movie for a very long time. After Iron Man ended, I wanted to see Iron Man 2 because the first one was really good. Like if I had to rate the first one just to let you know what I thought about the first one really quick so we could go into the second one, I would say an, an 8 out of a 10, maybe even a 9 out of a 10. But this one is disappointing and I'll tell you why. It was very slow paced. It's so boring. You, I was sitting in the movie theater looking around and stuff. Now what makes this movie so boring, you, you may ask? Well, it was boring because there was like no action in this movie and Iron Man was barely Iron Man for the time that he, the movie was going on. He was playing Tony Stark most of the time. Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark. No one wants to see this. We want to see Tony Stark as Iron Man. Can't these people get it through the head? Nobody cares about Tony Stark. I care about Iron Man. I wanted Iron Man to kick ass, not, oh, Tony Stark is dying or whatever. I really didn't care about that. That was so boring. Move on, people. Talk about Iron Man. Let me know about Iron Man, not about Tony Stark. And I know this is like me kind of raving on this topic, but it's because I was so bored. I think this movie is a big waste of time. Now, will I recommend you to see this movie? Hell no. Do not watch this movie. Skip this movie. If you haven't seen Nightmare on Elm Street, go watch that. You can wa go watch any other movie but this movie because this movie was that bad. Now you must ask me, what about the villain? Iron Man was in this movie that much. Was the villain there? No. The villain was also not there. He was barely there. And But when he was there, those parts were awesome. The ending was great. Like, because the final battle was pretty cool. Like, just the villain was kicking their, their ass, Iron Man and War Machine, just destroying them both. But the thing is, is the last battle, I swear to you, is only like two minutes long. So imagine that. This movie is like two hours long, and the best part of the movie is two, uh, uh, two minutes. So that means that you're going to pay to see a movie for two minutes out of 120 minutes. That is not worth it if you ask me. So I say skip this movie. Please skip this movie. Do not see it. If you see it, you are a moron. No, you are a moron, but just don't see it. It's just really bad. So like I said, the positive of this movie for me was Scarlett Johansson because she was hot in this movie. And there was nothing else to really look forward to in this movie. I got so bored that I was just hoping every time she came in the scene, you know, she would look hot, and she did. Every time she was in there, she was pretty hot. But that doesn't make for a good movie. That makes for a really shitty movie when you're looking for a hot girl in a movie to entertain you. You know, this was really bad, like, trust me. So, this movie just sucked. Not enough Iron Man, not enough War Machine. I mean, in the first movie, it took a while for him to become Iron Man, but that's, you, you expect that from the mer first movie, but not from this movie. Do you hate this movie, you may ask? Well, here comes my rating. You will be surprised. Every movie I have given a 7, an 8, even a 9 out of 10, right? Well, this time the rating is pretty low. And I'm going to give the rating a 4 out of 10. The reason I only give it th that much, I wouldn't even give it that much, but I gave it that much because Scarlett Johansson was in this movie and she did a great job. She she made this movie go up from a zero to a three so three points for just Scarlett Johansson and one extra point because War Machine was pretty cool but I mean War Machine wasn't in this movie enough to make it go higher I mean they have War Machine in this movie and he is barely in this movie it's just mostly Tony Stark rambling and complaining about his own life and being he's always like this like he's in love with himself all the time in the first Iron Man movie which is okay right but he does it in the second one so much and there is no Iron Man it's just Tony Stark obsessing about how great he is and how you know much money he has and all that bullshit Iron Man 2 was just a horrible movie in my opinion but maybe you liked it I don't know and that's why everybody is different but everybody I went to see with this movie with didn't like it they all thought it was whack so tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you like this movie? Do you not like this movie? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Just let me know overall your own opinion about this movie. Or if you haven't seen the movie, tell me what you think about if you're going to see this movie now that you have seen this review 
or if you're just not going to see this movie because if you're not going to see this movie you're going to save yourself about 12 or 13 bucks and that is a great thing because this movie is not entertaining it's boring thanks for watching my video